Hello, welcome. In this video, we're gonna talk about fashion's newest, hottest, most amazing it bag, the Bottega Pouch Clutch. Pouch Clutch. And I'm gonna show you my Bottega Veneta collection. Let's get into it. guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Maytel. Welcome. Happy to have you. I do videos like this all the time. So make sure you subscribe if you love videos like this, because you're in for a treat. All right, you guys, I really want to talk to you about the hottest bag right now in fashion. And that is by far the Bottega Veneta pouch clutch. I can never say it. It just doesn't flow. It doesn't flow when I say it. This bag I have been eyeing for months and I am desperate to get my hands on it. I will be getting my hands on it and I can't wait for that moment. You guys will be the first to know about it because I'm definitely going to show it to you. But this bag is just like very, very hot in fashion right now. I mean, you see this bag on the runway. You see it on really high fashion personalities and bloggers. I've been seeing this in like editorial photo shoots on real high fashion bloggers on Instagram and I have been trying to get my hands on this bag for months and it's not that you can't get your hands on the bag, it's, it's that they come in really special amazing colors and those are the ones that are kind of a little harder to get. They come in, they have like two or three at the boutique, and then they're gone. I think the neutrals are a little easier to get. Maybe not, I could be wrong about that. But this is just like a very, very, very hot bag right now. And I would love to know in the comments what you think of this bag. I could see this kind of going either way. I could see a lot of people thinking, what's so special about this bag? It's not that special. It's just a bag that looks like a dumpling, a delicious, juicy dumpling because it really does a beautiful supple ruched leather dumpling if you ask me but i could really see how people would just think it's just a a clutch with like you know weaved leather or ruched leather yeah i could see that the thing is about this clutch for me it's not necessarily just the style of the clutch which i do love but for me, it's the colors that have made me just go insane. I mean, the most gorgeous shades of blue, metallic purple, metallic blue, very, very, very bright green, not neon slime, but just green in the best way. And that's the one that I'm getting. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's just absolutely amazing colors. So of course it comes in black. I would think that black is the least desirable of the bunch and then a lot of neutrals which are really beautiful. I mean, I'm such a sucker for color. That's one of the reasons I love Hermes so much because they always come out with these crazy amazing colors that I just die for. I just, I love a bright, vibrant color. I love it in a handbag too, because you can do so much with it. You can dress really understated and then just have that as like an amazing pop of color, or you can dress really funky and just like add that pizzazz to your super styled outfit. You know what I mean? So I just, I'm such a sucker for these bright, vibrant colors, especially in handbag form. So I cannot wait to get that bag. I cannot wait to show you that bag. But now I'm going to show you my current Bottega handbag collection and we're going to talk about how a lot of people feel about Bottega. So let's transition to that. The way I feel about Bottega is that I feel like Bottega falls into two categories. There's the high fashion, fashionista Bottega loving girl. And then there's like the old money, mature woman, Bottega loving girl, woman. It's just like what I've seen. Usually the younger demographic that love Bottega, they love it because it's fashion, it's um, beautiful, it's craftsmanship, but it's not like in your face, you know, like a heavily branded bag, you know? And then there's people that don't like it and that's fine. It doesn't, you know, not everything's for everyone. 
Um, but this is a kind of bag that is understated and not branded. That doesn't mean it's not fashionable. Like there's a lot of girls that really love it and get it. And there's people that don't and that's absolutely totally cool. Um, and then the other category is kind of like, it's just like my take on it from what I've seen. Just like the really mature 50, 60 plus woman who, you know, will have her carry all tote with that has not really any style or anything to it. It's just like a carry all tote. That's just like Bottega. It's kind of just like that old money, like bougie woman about town kind of vibe. <laughs> I hate to say that, but that's just that's just the impression I get. You know, even the carry-alls that are just like the weaved leather, I still appreciate them and like them. And I just, I love Bottega. I love the brand. I think it's, it's a real fashion house. It's not just, I mean, they're all fashion houses. You know what I mean? Like all the fashion that we talk about here on these fashion channels, like, you know, everyone has their own taste. I just... You know, it's hard to describe, but Bottega to me, it's like, it's like a real fashion house. It's a high fashion, high price point fashion house that just has like loyal fan base of, you know, Bottega lovers that appreciate the style and the craftsmanship behind the brand. So that's how I feel about Bottega as a brand and the people that wear it. And now let's get into my collection. So the first I will show you is my beautiful evening clutch, which I love so, so much. And you've seen this on so many celebs. This is like a very hot bag on the red carpet. Please excuse my nails. By the way, I'm taking a break from shellac and just putting polish on my nails. They just look so disgusting on camera, so please excuse them but anyways back to this this is the um what's this called it's the knot clutch i think it's called the knot clutch um correct me if i'm wrong leave it in the comments below if, if this has a different name i believe it's called the knot clutch um it comes in a couple different sizes it comes in like a very small size like that and this is like the other size which is not large it's still small um, what I love about it is this is just very much for evening. This is like evening only. Like I, I mean, I guess you could wear this on a night out in jeans. Like you could just like have a bougie clutch with jeans. I love that vibe too. Um, but I do feel like this is more like black tie, more evening, more fancy, going to a wedding kind of vibe. And I just love it. I mean, it's like weaved satin, which is just so classic Bottega. I'm going to come in close. You know, and then it's got the python lining around it, which I would prefer actually, because I don't like exotic leather at all. And then it's got this beautiful knot. Just gorgeous, gorgeous knot. Yeah, I'm actually not a fan of exotic leather. I bought this years ago and now I really try not to buy exotic leather and, um, I do have some coats with like fur hoods and stuff like that, but I'm kind of like steering away from fur as well. I do have some pieces with it on. It's just like, I just feel like it's a direction where all, a lot of us are moving in and I think some luxury brands are catching on and they're stopping the use of exotics and fur and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, aside from that, it, it really is beautiful. I'm sure they could have done a python embossed kind of leather, you know, like, like the croc embossed leather. But anyways, uh, it just really is so, so beautiful and it's very classy, you know, very, very, very classy and clean and that's how it looks on the inside. It smells really good kind of still smells like where it came from you know like somewhere in Italy somewhere beautiful you know or was it like a factory now Bottega is not like a factory thing is it no who knows I don't know but I love it and uh, yeah that's my first one all right next is the exact same bag in a champagne color shiny champagne satin same thing, same knot. Um, this one's in gold. The other one was in like a brushed silver. This is like a brushed gold. Same, 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 same. Everything is the same. You know, I just like needed a neutral option. It's like a nude 
with a shimmer. Again, very evening, very red carpet. This would be perfect for like a special event or any evening event. But again, like now I'm like, now that I think about it, now that I'm talking about it with you guys, I could really see myself rocking this with like a care, uh, even a pair of like ripped jeans and a stunning pair of stilettos and then like this super super fancy clutch like kind of ripped and then fancy you know i kind of love putting those two styles together as well i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna rock that look out for that on my instagram because i kind of like i'm really feeling that vibe the more i talk about it and i think you might just be it girl so that's my second clutch the same sorry no, no surprises uh the same bag all right last but not least of my Bottega bags there's only three that's all I have soon to be four stay tuned is this just really cool casual bag oh I think this is called the pillow bag and it came in a couple different sizes it's I think it's the Bottega pillow bag again correct me if I'm wrong let me know in the comments. This is like a dusty rose color. I don't know if it's coming up on your screen. On my viewfinder, what I'm seeing is it looks very blush pink. And I, I love this bag actually for the color. I bought it because of the color. Um, and I, this is a neutral, you know, like first of all, blush pink is a neutral. You can wear it with so much. You can wear it with brown, with tan, cognac colors. It's just like such a great neutral. Same with this. This is, I mean, this is, like I said, it's it's like a muted pink color, but definitely still in the neutral family. This bag came in sick colors as well. That bright, bright green that I, that I was describing before, it came in that. It came in like a cobalt blue. I believe it came in red. Just beautiful colors, and I love this bag. The thing is, with this bag, and with Bottega, is that they do show wear kind of quickly. The thing with Bottega is that they're incredibly high priced. Like Bottega is extremely expensive. And then if you wear it for like three weeks without like switching your bag out, you're already gonna see some wear on it. I kind of wear this occasionally when I have like I took this to Miami a couple winters ago and I would just like rock it at night with jeans or with like cute little floral dresses. Um, and then when I came home, I kind of just stayed wearing it and I used it for like two weeks straight without switching it. And these bags, I feel like they're not meant for that. The, the bags that are meant for that are like more durable bags. Like honestly, I know Hermes is like so incredibly expensive and I'm not saying go buy an Hermes, but in terms of quality, like such great quality. You can throw around an Hermes bag. It stays perfect. Like, of course, if you go against a hard, rough uh, surface, you're going to scratch the corners, but generally like they don't rip. They don't get out of shape. They they maintain their good quality and, and structure and shape and there's no fraying, there's no peeling. And with this, I've owned Bottega before and sold it. I owned the, the Hobo in gray and I saw that it was like starting to, at the bottom, like not fray, but it was, I could see that it was gonna get to that stage. So I wanted to sell it because I can't stand when bags look really, really worn. I like when a bag looks like well used like like it's owned but not worn and raggedy you know there's a difference so that's kind of the thing with Bottega and I don't know if you can see I'm gonna try and get in close I don't know if it's picking up on camera but some of the edges of the weaves are just like I don't know just getting a lit they're just not they look like they have like wear and tear and there really is not a lot of wear to tear. Does that make sense? Yeah, there hasn't been enough wear for the tear on this bag. So as much as I do love Bottega, love the brand and appreciate the craftsmanship and the styles, they, they need to be handled with care, these things. So there's that, that's it. That's my entire Bottega collection. And this is just like a cute little video. I just really wanted to talk to you about like the, the biggest it bag right now. I mean, this is, the biggest bag of the season. It just is. I mean, I've 
I follow fashion, I'm into fashion, I see it all the time, it's what I do, it's what I see, and this bag is it. There's a lot of amazing it bags right now, but this bag has made the biggest splash from what I've seen. Um, if you guys know of other really amazing it bags that are really hot right now, make sure to let me know, leave it in the comments. I'd love to know which it bags are on your radar. There are so many bags I love and want, and so many hot, it bags every season, every year. Uh, but right now, my obsession lies with the Bottega pouch. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is something that I've been thinking about, and I was like, I gotta make this video. I gotta talk to you guys about this cool new bag and show you the Bottegas that I already have and love. If you have any other amazing video ideas that you'd love to share with me, let me know. Maybe, just maybe, I'll use one of your ideas next. So stay tuned. I've got so many good ones coming out for you. I cannot wait to see you. I love you so much. Until next time.